Hey travelers, Mag and I here on day 248 of our trip around the United States. Our foray into New Mexico yesterday was just to take care of that northwest corner of the state. Beside that, we do not need anything along the western boundary of New Mexico. So we woke up this morning and we covered 200 miles to get our way out of the forests and mountains of New Mexico to drop back down into Arizona once again. Our route for today calls for 400 miles as we make our way west through Globe and into Apache Junction. But we've already covered 200 of those 400 miles before our day even begins. So it's going to be a very easy day to make it to where we need to go and cover these last few remaining pages and counties in this section of Arizona. We have four days here in Arizona, starting with today, and we are working on the complete center DeLorme pages in the state. We only have two counties left, the one that we're sitting in right now and the one that we're heading to next. And beyond that, it is all about pages from here on out. We've already completed a lot of the pages in the center section, so we're only gonna be hopping through the ones we need over the next four days as we make our way west into Phoenix, go back north, and then east into New Mexico once again. No matter how the day turns out, we're gonna bring it to an end in Apache Junction because just finding our way is hosting an event there tomorrow morning and we're gonna to get to meet a lot of the local geocachers. So we don't wanna overshoot that event and we wanna make sure to be there to say hi to everybody. So let's see what the deserts of Arizona have in store for us today. Come on, let's go. We began our long drive this morning outside the El Mapais National Monument at an elevation of about 6,400 feet. It was a long and winding, steady descent out of the mountains of New Mexico to come down several thousand feet to get back into Arizona once again. By the time we had gotten down out of the mountains, we could feel the temperature had warmed up quite a bit, so decided it was time to grab some geocaches on our way. Aichan did get out at each of the ground zeros, but she had little interest in actually geocaching this morning. Instead, she let me handle all of the searching this time around while she investigated each of the smells at the ground zeros. Seems like a very good time to get reacquainted with the scents of Southern Arizona all over again. Not quite done with Greenlee County yet, we decide to take a little bit of a detour up to Clifton. This little mining town along the San Francisco River boasts a population of about 3,700 people. Within its canyon setting, Clifton is often thought of as one of the most beautiful towns in Arizona, boasting a rich history dating back all the way from Geronimo to Coronado. One of the first spots you'll be sure to see when coming into Clifton is the Veterans Park, located right along Highway 191. The park holds several memorials to our first responders and veterans who served in Vietnam, the War on Terror, and in other conflicts around the globe. The centerpiece of the park features all the names of Greenlee County veterans who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. From our vantage point in the park, looking across the Zerilla Street Bridge, we also spotted a very large object that we wanted to go see a little closer. Standing out above the river, you can find a PH model 1800 excavator shovel. This shovel spent 22 years in the Phelps Dodge Marinci pit from 1958 through 1980. During that time, it helped to move 68 and a half tons of material and is an integral part of the town's mining history. Lastly, we drop in at the spot that brought us here in the first place, the virtual located at the old Clifton Cliff Jail. Blasted directly out of the rock, this jail can find many of the lawbreakers who crowded into the district during the boom days. The jail saw continuous use from 1881 until 1906 when a massive flood struck the area. Many over the years have claimed that this jail on the cliffs is all but inescapable. How cool is this to be in a jail cell that's carved right into the cliff like this? Now it's time for us to move on out of Clifton to our next destination. Well, once I figure out how to get out of here. Successfully escaping from Clifton in Greenlee County, we make our way west into Safford, the county seat of Graham County, the last county we need to complete the state of Arizona. Originally incorporated on October 10th of 1901, the city did not receive its current name until 1955 when it was named after Arizona Territorial Governor Anson Safford. 
It was founded by the trio of Joshua Eaton Bailey, Hiram Kennedy, and Edward Tuttle, who came from Gia Bend in the winter of 1873. They had a vision and immediately set out in laying out a town site to include a few crude buildings to kick things off. Obviously, the city of Safford has come a long way in the last 150 years, now boasting a population of more than 10,000 people. This has become an agricultural hub in the area, drawing from the Gia River to create 40,000 acres of irrigated agriculture, primarily cotton, but also hay and small grains too. It sure is a good thing we've been maintaining a lead since we entered Utah from Las Vegas, because the last of it, which we had to get rid of by the end of the day today anyway, is gonna be eaten up right now on the Delorme page 54. I had identified on my target list every single option that was in this page and highlighted the ones that were easily accessible from the road. They've all been archived. So now there's only two options left in the page and neither one of them is easy. Both of them require some four x four style driving and hiking. It's just choosing the lesser of the two evils, I guess. I chose to go after the one in the Box Canyon. It's about a three mile hike straight up the wash. We hit a spot about a little more than a mile in that I didn't feel comfortable taking the Geomobile anymore for the distance is gonna get us. So we cut quite a bit off, but I and I still have about a two mile hike in and about a two mile hike out for this one option we're going after on the page. Fingers crossed, because here we go. Delorme page 54 begins in Eden along Highway 70, stretching all the way up to Cutter and covering a large swath of land in the San Carlos Reservation. When we originally put this plan together, there were two convenient options in Eden, two convenient options in Fort Thomas, and two really long hiking and off-road options located outside of Fort Thomas along the Box Canyon range. While it was unfortunate that all of the geocaches in Eden and Fort Thomas had been archived, we were just glad that there was still one at the end of this box canyon we could hike to. If there's one thing that I'm sure of, my geomobile was not gonna clear this part of the road. This was as far as we were gonna get one way or the other. Still a mile and a half out. One thing that I certainly had not expected to see on our trip through the desert today was the proliferation of the Mexican gold poppy that was growing everywhere along the trail. This beautiful golden flower usually grows on rocky hillsides or slopes during the month of March. These flowers do not bloom like this every year, but when they do, they really put on quite the show. It forms as a small yellow cup made of four petals, and if you want to see the cup open, you have to look for these beautiful flowers during midday because that's the only time that they open up to receive direct sunlight. Time for a water break. Once we were completely surrounded within the confines of the Box Canyon, we found ourselves fascinated by these towering rock structures all around us. Having thoroughly studied the satellite imagery beforehand, I had already expected that this would be the only approach to and from the geocache, but what I did not expect was to be so mesmerized by all the rocks that comprise the formation of this Box Canyon. This hole in the side of the rock looked like nothing more than the entrance to a villain's lair to me. Just to be sure, I Chan and I checked all around the rock structure, looking for any hidden levers that might open the door. That's what I'm talking about. This makes the long trek out here completely worthwhile. Page 54 in the bag. Let's move on one more page and we can clear our day. Coming out of page 54, the 50-foot spire of the Melvin Jones Lion International Memorial caught our eye. Dedicated in 1965, this memorial honors Melvin Jones, who served as the Lions International Executive Director and honors the founders of Lions International, the world's largest network of humanitarian service clubs. Finally bringing our day to a close, we enter the City of Globe with a population of about 7,200 people and the county seat of Gia County. This city began as a mining town when silver was discovered in the San Carlos Apache Indian Reservation in 1875. 
As soon as the silver was discovered, the mining camp at Rambos Peak, nearest to the reservation, immediately relocated to the area that would become Globe. Things began to move quickly from there, with plans for an incorporated globe established by July of next year, with stores, banks, and the first newspaper all included in the layout. Within a mere six years, Globe had become the county seat of Gia County, which it still remains to this day. All right, and it looks like that is going to do it for our first of four days back here in Arizona, completing the DeLorme Challenge. We only had two counties, and three pages to work through as we made our way into the state today. We finished off the last of the two counties we needed to finish Arizona completely, and two of the three pages, this one included, turned out to be pretty easy. 54, however, did not. I'd been watching those options get archived over the last few months, and when the last one that was still an easy option in the area got archived a couple weeks ago, I knew I was gonna be in for it today, but it is what it is, and we made the best of it. Drove our way a pretty good way up the wash, and then Aichan and I got a great workout hiking our way all the way up there to go find that geocache. And it's another one of those adventures that I really wouldn't trade because we had a great time of it, and the walk all the way through was just beautiful. Thank you guys for joining us on this adventure back in Arizona today. Like this video, subscribe to stay tuned for daily updates, and we'll see you out on the trails. Thank you.